Hi, what's up, everybody? Hopefully, everybody's having a good Monday. Today's a Memorial Day. Hopefully, everybody's having a good Memorial Day. Just out here at the park, chilling, uh, getting some fresh air. It's too hot to be in that car, you know what I'm saying? Turning it on and off, on and off, and on and off. So, might as well just get out. Might as well get out the perfect time. There ain't too many people. I like, you know what I'm saying? It's not that I like to be around people. It's just, you know, people act funny sometimes. So, you know, but, you know, I really ain't got the time for funniness right now. That's the hockey over there. You know how they get over there. <laughs> so, so we're gonna continue on. I forgot where we left off. I think it was a Joshua 24, 11, 15. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing all right today? Hopefully everybody's having a good day today. I already said that right. Well, for real, for real. So, I don't know if hey, haters take you off, nothing like that. Continue to do you, continue to be you, and uh, stay strong. You know what I'm saying? Stay strong. So, we're with the front of you, not behind you. So, Joshua, that's always a hard one for me. It's in the back. No, it's in the front, that's why. That's why I, I was looking in the back and started in the front. Gotcha. Alright, we're gonna look at um it feels good out here too. Hopefully everybody's alright. I know it's been storming a lot all over the place. So if you're going through those storms, may God be with y'all and protect y'all, keep y'all safe. My name is Jesus Christ, we pray, amen. And uh, Joshua 24, 11, 15. Yeah, I just wanted to get out here. Show off my God. You know, and not really show out. Just get out. Get out for my God. You know what I'm saying? Just put out for my God. And it says, Now if it seems bad to you to serve Jehovah, choose for yourself today whom you will serve, whether the gods that your forefathers served on the other side of the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are dwelling. But as for me, my household, we will serve Jehovah. So that's uh, Joshua 24, uh, 11 to 15. Let me see how to prepare. That, that was just 15. We'll, we'll read what that's supposed to read. So it says, Then you crossed the Jordan and came to Jericho, and the leaders of Jericho, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Canaanites, the Hittites, and the Jubasites fought against you, but I gave them into your hands, so I sent them. The, the feeling of dejection ahead of you and it drove them out from before you two kings of the Amorites it was not by your sword and not by your bow thus I gave you a land for which you have not toiled and cities that you have not built and you settled in them you are eating from vineyards and olive groves that you do not plant therefore fear Jehovah and serve him with integrity and faithfulness and remove the gods that your forefathers served on the other side of the river and in Egypt and serve Jehovah. Now it seems bad to you to serve Jehovah. Choose for yourself today whom you will serve, whether the gods of your forefathers serve on the other side of the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are dwelling. But as for me and my household, we will serve Jehovah. Amen. I will serve Jehovah and Jesus Christ. So I serve both of them. Because, you know, Jesus Christ has authority over over it all. So we got to respect Jesus Christ, you know, like, he's the boss. So we go to uh, Acts 7.23. Anybody had any good meals? Would you, anybody eat anything good today or just a regular day or what? Shoot, we had something good yesterday and I was eating leftovers for that. They had something new today, but I didn't even touch that. So now nah, I'm going to eat the old stuff first, because then you got foods and, and meat all over the place. Bad food all over the place. You want bad food all over the place. So I go rotate it. Yeah, rotate it. And I believe we're going to read that. Uh, what we're going to read? 723. And that says, um... So now that he reached the age of 40, it came to his heart to make a visit on his brothers, the son, the sons of Israel, Israel. Okay. And now we're gonna go to uh, Deuteronomy 7, 8, and 11. Back and forth, back and forth. Deuteronomy 7, 8, and 11, that's gonna say. Um, Deuteronomy 7, 8, and 11. Seven, eight, and 
And that says, um, and that says, rather it was because of Jehovah's love for you and because he kept the oath that he has sworn to your forefathers that Jehovah brought you out of a mighty hand to redeem you from the house of slavery and the power of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. You will know that Jehovah your God is the true God, the faithful God, keeping the covenant and loyal love to a thousand generations and those who love him and keep his commandments. Amen. So it's always, it's always a good idea to keep uh, God's commandments. Oh, they're playing baseball over here. That's what's up. We're playing baseball. See, hit it. Single. Got a single. He should have got a double out of that. He should be in a second. He should have been. A, he should have been. Oh, I went over the fence, I think. Bounced over the fence or something. Okay. So that's like an automatic, another base, ain't it? So I think he does get a double. What happened to that kid? Seems like the umpire got hurt or something. All right, back to the Bible. See how easy it is to get distracted. I they're playing baseball though. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go to Exodus. Uh, we're gonna go to Acts seven twenty four. See back and forth, back and forth. And I wonder why they did it like that. When I was studying it, I noticed that I was like Acts and Exodus seven twenty four. Man, it feels good out here. Clouds are looking crazy like always. It says, when he caught sight of one of them being unjustly treated, he defended him and avenged the one being abused by striking down the Egyptian. And that's breaking down Exodus 2, 11, I believe. Where now in the days after Moses had become a doll, he went out to his brothers to look at the burdens that they were bearing and caught sight of the Egyptian beating a Hebrew of his brothers so he looked away this way and that and seeing no one he killed the egyptian and hit, hit him in the sand so that's what that's talking about so now we're going to go to uh, exodus 19 14. i think this is going back to uh, isaiah because i got confused for uh, exodus 19 14. That says, uh, Then Moses went down from the mountain to the people, and he began to sanctify the people, and they washed their clothing. He said to the people, Get ready for the third day, abstain from sexual relations. So the third day, abstain from sexual relations. That's the, the next scripture is written. That's 14 and 15. So Moses will sanctify his people. For he began to sanctify the people and they washed their clothing. And then we're going to go to uh, Deuteronomy 4 34 to 36. That says, or has God ever attempted to take for himself a nation out of the midst of another nation, along with judgments, with signs, with miracles, with war, with a mighty hand, and with an outstretched arm, and with terrifying deeds as Jehovah your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes? You yourselves have been shown these things so you will know that Jehovah is the true God. There is no other God besides him. He made you hear his voice from heavens to correct you. And on the earth, he made you see his great fire and his words you heard from out of the fire. Thank God, praise God. Amen. See, God's amazing. I'm telling you, God's amazing. You just gotta find, you gotta, you gotta search him. 
All right. And then, uh, so 213, I think we're moving on now. So, but he went on to the following day and there were two Hebrew men fighting with each other. So he said to one of the wrong, what do you strike a companion? Why do you strike a companion? At this he said, who appointed you as a prince and a judge over us? Are you planning to kill me just as you killed the Egyptian? Moses now was now afraid. And uh, we're gonna go to uh, Acts 7, 26. Acts, he back to Acts. Acts, the Exodus, Acts, Exodus, Acts, Exodus. That's all right, you get used to it, you'll find it pretty quick. Sometimes you get lost. Says the next day he appeared to them as they were fighting and he tried to reconcile them in peace saying men you are brothers why do you mistreat each other That's just a, another account the accounting of that exodus 18 2 4. Man, i love reading these scriptures because this is it's just it's been a good mood it's just calms me down you know what I'm saying? Instead of adding to like the misery, adding to like to the bad stuff, adding to the stuff that doesn't really even matter, just making things worse. And like, why are you going to do that? You know what I'm saying? Pick yourself up and and trust in God and have faith in God. So it says Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, had taken in Zipporah, Moses' wife, Zipporah, Moses' wife, and when she was sent back to him along with two sons, one son was named uh, Gershom because Moses said I have become a foreign resident in a foreign land and the other was named Eliezer because he said that God of my father is my helper who rescued me from Pharaoh's sword so we'll go to Genesis 25 1 and 2 Genesis 25 1 and 2 and it says now Abraham again took a wife and her name was Keturah, Keturah, and the time she bore him Zimran, Jokshan, Medan, Median, Ishbak, and Shua. And that's one and two. Okay. It just, it just looks so little. I always go read it too. And Exodus 3 1. We'll, we'll go one more after that. Call it a video. So we're halfway down to Exodus 2. Exodus 3 1. Is going to be the fall. And it says Moses became a shepherd of the flock of his father in law Jethro, the priest of Median. While he was leading the flock to the west side of the wilderness, he eventually came to the mountain of the true God to Horeb. Amen. And we'll go to uh, 419. Exodus 419. And that says, uh, After that, Jehovah said to Moses to, in Median, Go return to Egypt, because all the men who were seeking to kill you are dead. Amen. So, I mean, we don't want that to happen, but this is right there in the Bible. Like, There's a purpose, you know, to, for. I want to go over something real quick though. Um, this was said yesterday at my mom's meeting. And uh, I'll go over it in the next video.